taste in music really isn't as important a character trait as we made it out to be as teenagers. The older I get, the less I care about others' taste in music, and vice versa. It's less that I hope we listen to the same music, and more that I hope you don't make me listen to shitty music. I'm 30 and apparently the only one still digesting new music. Everyone around keeps listening the same top 40 hits from their favorite artist. It's not, but it's often a good hint to someone's general overall vibe. You can be a vibe without liking a certain kind of music, but liking a certain kind of music makes it more likely that you may share other things in common. Almost 40 and I never used music as a way to judge people it was usually a way to potentially learn about new music. So more about sharing. I don't care what anyone listens to but I get really excited when anyone listens to my niche metal bands. Nath. This ain't it. I just met a girl who has very compatible music tastes. Given how big that part of my life is, it is such a big bonus. I couldn't imagine being with someone that can't relate to my music taste. Are you kidding me, as a 50-year-old, it's more important than ever. Depends if you're talking about a co-worker whose music you never have to listen to, sure, who cares what they like. A romantic partner, where you'll potentially have to listen to music you hate. Could be a significant issue. Taste in music is something I take seriously in a potential partner. Music is a huge part of my life so if it's not part of theirs, it's a deal breaker for me. I'd never have anyone in my house and let them play country music at 42. Hard disagree. I generally don't care what most people listen to, but the type of music artists people enjoy and support can be more definitive of their character than what I think a lot of people would like to admit. For instance, most recently, if someone tells me they enjoy and support Brantley Gilbert I'd be interested in knowing how deep that support goes. Music is my passion, of course it fucking matters for me as middle-aged bachelor. Excuse me? Music taste is one of the most important things. Especially if I'm gonna be living with someone. You listen to mostly country music? I'm sorry, this isn't going to work. As an old person, I care deeply about a single person's musical taste my son's. The utter shit he listens to brings me physical pain. I try to remind myself that my mother suffered through my Billy Idol and Duran Duran phases, not to mention an unholy amount of the cure, but I still find myself starting sentences with back in my day. But seriously. Anime rap battles? Where the fuck did I go wrong? I've moved past this music sucks and you suck to hey it's not for me, do you mind switching to something everyone at this party might like? Fine with this statement but not liking music in general is a huge red flag for me. No shitty music taste is a red flag. Having your own opinions is great. Look, I my husband will get into a bluegrass gospel mood every once in a, it's a lot. Hum, I don't know. If you're into Kid Rock and his upcoming No Snowflakes tour, we probably aren't going to be friends. IDK. I've dated people and hated their music. Being stuck with music you detest is not fun. I dunno, maybe. But I was in my 30s when I played Mojo Pin by Jeff Buckley and her complete indifference told me it wasn't going to work out. I have to have some kind of mutual enjoyment of music to ride in the car with someone. That depends on you and how important you feel music is. I find having a similar taste in music is extremely important in my relationship, because it's something I bond over and it's important to me. That doesn't mean that will be important for other people in their relationships though. I mean, I don't know how virulent you were about music when you were a teen but I didn't really become a music person until my late twenties, and I'm probably close to as opinionated about music as I ever have been. I don't grudge you if you like other music but having learned to make music I have a sense of what skill is involved in making good music. I have never, ever cared about what other people listen to. Is that really a thing people do? I dunno, every girl on dating apps brings it up in their bio. That and traveling, adventure, coffee, and dogs. 
this is a somewhat mind-blowing thought. I had subconsciously realized this but never articulated it. I've noticed the younger generation has pretty diverse taste, and cliques aren't separated by music taste anymore. I feel like from the 1790s that was a phenom and now it's dying out. It actually doesn't matter at all. Let people like what they like. Unless you're in a car for several days together. Then, it becomes vital. No it absolutely still is to me. If you can't trust your friend with the auxiliary they're not a friend. And what bands you like is still top of my are we going to date questions. Music is just more important to some people. Music snobs are the worst. That being said, when you make a type of music your personality, face with rolling eyes. In high school, if you were wearing a band I liked, we friends. I know everything I need to know about you. I think it is a good way to judge if you're somewhat compatible with someone though. And if they don't have similar taste in music their willingness or lack of it to listen to things that you enjoy says a lot. It's still pretty important to me. Not saying I will straight up not like someone for bad taste. But if you're a music nerd like I think I am, I will be way more excited to converse with you about that subject. And chances are we will have more in common after that. As a teenager, I feel like this is a safe space to say I like Weezer. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion even if it's wrong. Sounds like something somebody with questionable taste would say. If you're a musician, you may disagree with this thought, at least, to some extent. I left my teenage years behind decades ago. I've never particularly cared about a person's taste in music. However, I can still tell a lot about a person if they start speaking about music they like, and why they like it. I've learned the opposite. The older I get, the more I notice how your taste in music might influence your personality. I may not care about what people listen to but historically it seems to be a good indicator of how much I'll connect with that person. Wrong, it's still important you just don't give a fuck if someone else doesn't agree with you. I don't care about other people's tastes in music unless I am in a situation where I am stuck listening to it. It's all gravy till your partner renews their love for trance and jungle EDM and improved piano. Yeah I don't base my identity on what kind of music I consume. I barely care about my own taste in music, given that my preferences change on a day-to-day -day basis. Let alone anyone else's. I've learned the hard way that a woman who hates Bob Dylan is a generally horrible person. Wish I would have trusted my gut when I first found out. I mean it kind of is. People who listen to pop music and mumble rappers tend to be very annoying and get on my nerves. It's just another form of pack mentality. Form bonds with those who have a commonality, ostracize those who don't. As we get older, I think we are just happy to form bonds with anyone as there are consistently less people left in your age group the older you get. It's really cute that you think people grow out of that mindset in their 20s. Says you. I'm a 41-year-old dude who has been rejected multiple times for not being a Taylor Swift fan. Not for hating her, just not being a fan. By women in my age group. I'd be willing to give her a chance, but I doubt whatever prog metal I've been into lately would be for them. IDK. I still don't get along with people who listen to certain genres of music. But 10 years of my career was based in the music industry so maybe I'm sensitive to how people's taste in music indicates their personalities. Wait, what? So I didn't have friends because I didn't listen to music. Kind of yes and no. Taste in music, says a lot about what kind of person someone is it's a convenient shorthand that helps you determine overlapping areas of interest. That being said, I once worked with a guy in his late 30s who had the emotional maturity of a teenager, and only ever talked about 90s punk and alternative else in the world mattered to him and it was exhausting. Liking music is cool. Making it your whole personality is not. Disagree. We need to be similar enough to agree on what to play in the car. IDK. If someone's really into ICP, then I wouldn't want to hang out with them for too long.